What's up, guys? You guys already know what day it is. Actually, you guys probably don't, but whatever I'm telling you guys, anyways, it's bigger than the month Thursday. And today, I'm gonna be talking about my go to shoulder exercises that I use when I'm on the run. I always feel a pump with these, and we get let's get to it. Roll the intro. Okay, so first of all, I always, I always start with my staple, and that is the seated shoulder press. It kind of goes like this, or you guys could just see on the screen. Well, well the, this is just my staple. It's like the exercise that everybody does when they're trying to grow their shoulders because it's the most known, it's the most proven, I guess, that builds your strength and your size for, with your shoulders. So with this, I like to superset, well, with mostly with everything nowadays, uh, I like to superset a lot. So I do my, my shoulder press. I do with my seated shoulder press. I like to. I usually grab from anywhere from 45 to 55 pounds, and I do sets of six to ten right here. My thing I stuck with eight reps all, all my sets. So once I hit eight reps, I I lower the weight. I usually grab like 25s, and I really try to control these reps, go as low as possible. Cause like when I go heavy, I feel like I can't go that low because I'm carrying more weight, so it's more difficult, the reps are more difficult. So I grab lower weight, I try to go down as low as possible. I try to really control these reps, and oh yeah, I just get the most out of them. I don't really, I don't count my reps with the lower weight, I just do as many as possible. And well yeah, after that, I move on to some front raise to, to lateral raise combination of both. I don't know what that exact movement is called, but when you pick up the weight like you're doing a front raise, move to a lateral raise, and then bring it back down, and then you do the opposite. So it's front to side, down, then side, front, down. I just recently started doing this. A lot of people that I know that work out and have experience working out, they always say that this is the secret to growing your shoulders. And I, I believe it's true because yeah, it's also kind of like a super set. So now I started incorporating my exercises and that I do 10 reps, three to four sets. And the secret to this is not going heavy. You don't have to, and you probably won't be able to go heavy because the, the amount of time you pick up the you're holding the, the weight with your shoulders is not gonna allow you to so what i do here i started with 15 pounds but i saw it was too heavy and my form was kind of fucking up so i brought the weight down to 10 pounds and this way i can really feel the contraction i can really control the weight and do the reps properly how they're supposed to do and get the most out of my reps and out of my sets and out of my gym membership and after that combination i did a standing one arm shoulder press and with this, you can really you really incorporate almost your whole body because you have to keep yourself real stiff and real real strong core in order for you to actually pick up the weight properly. And it's basically the same thing as a seated shoulder press, but you're doing one arm at a time, so you're able to isolate the muscle and you're able to focus on one shoulder at a time. And from what I heard and from what I've read is that doing one shoulder isolating muscles is especially good because you're able to actually focus on the muscle like you're able to first get the most out of your weaker, mu weaker muscles so if you're able to do 12 reps and then you can easily match that with your other arm or your other shoulder or whatever helping you get more even strength on both arms, both shoulders, both muscle parts and ultimately helping you with your shoulder press, your standing military press, your bench press, everything because you're, you're going to be able to push even amount of weights on both sides and also evening out your physique. Okay, with this movement, I try to really keep my core strong, feet shoulder width apart and just push one arm at a time. I really try to go slowly because with this movement, you're standing, you're more vulnerable to get, getting hurt. Each arm, I did 10 to 12 reps and I did both arms for one set and then I did four sets and for my final movement I like doing three to five sets of everything but today I was kind of in a hurry in a rush so I wasn't able to get that much but I got no I was able to get at least four exercises in and for my final movement I wanted to work on some rear delts because I didn't hit it that much in my routine today so I want to target my rear delts even more so I did some rear delt flies or reverse pec deck or whatever you want to call it and with this, this is probably the most easy exercise I did I just, you just gotta keep your chest to the padding and just do a reverse pec deck try not to have your elbows too bent keep that mind muscle connection and just remember that you're working on your rear delts and try to use that muscle to you know move the weight and did, I did that for I think three sets of 12 reps and yeah that was pretty much my workout uh, afterwards, I got a good meal in, you know, got, I, I, I recuperated, got my gains in, and yeah, hopefully you guys like the, the workout and you guys incorporate it in your next shoulder day. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one.